In the world of RAIN RFID, there are a thousand different tags and labels. But which one is best for your project? CISPA wants to help you choose the best RAIN RFID tag or label for your project in five steps. The first question. What is the surface material of the tagged item? In general, RAIN RFID tags work well on plastic, wood or cardboard. Some items are more complex to tag because the material they are made of can interfere with the communication between the RAIN RFID reader and tag. For example, liquids absorb radio waves while metals reflect them. Environmental conditions can affect the tag's read range or read rate, so it's very important to evaluate the environmental conditions the tag will be applied in. Do they need to be immune to scratching and beating? Or do they need to survive a specific temperature, chemical immersion or specific humidity range? Size does matter. In general, the size of the tag is related to the read range. So, if you need a read range of several meters, the suitable tag will most probably have a larger dimension than if you need a read range of a few centimeters. Take into account the available surface area of the tagged item and where you will place the tag or label on the item. The appropriate mounting method of a tag depends on the material, shape of the tagged item and the environmental conditions. Some RFID tags and labels come with glue for adhesive fixation, while others can be mounted with cable ties, screws or rivets. The memory size of a tag or label affects the amount of data that can be stored. Most RAIN RFID tags have a chip from manufacturers such as Impinch and NXP. There is a wide range of different chips available with a lot of flexibility in EPC and user memory. Do you need help choosing the right tag or label? Please contact CISPA. Our RFID experts can answer all of your questions and help you pick the right RAIN RFID label or tag for your project.